it is Monday, and that means you get me, I mean you get me, 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 you boy. Yeah. <laughs> Today I decided I'm going to talk about my favorite books. And by favorite books, I mean like the less conventional ones, aka not Harry Potter and not anything John Green, just because that's kind of like a given that like Harry Potter and anything written by John Green are going to be some of the greatest books ever. Number one is Little Women, which actually isn't an underrated book at all. I mean, it's a classic and stuff. Um, but Little Women is such a good book, and it's so perfect, and the movie is really good too. I know Kirsten loves it because of Newsy's guy. He has a name, but whatever. I really love literature that I naturally read with a British accent, and I know this is an American novel and not British lit. Anyway, it's just, it's one of, I think, the most powerful, wonderful, novels ever written and it ends perfectly for everyone except Beth. Sorry Beth. My next book is called The Facts and Fictions of Minna Pratt by Patricia McLaughlin and she's the same person that wrote Sarah Plain and Tall which is a pretty famous book. You can see that this is a very loved book and when I was like 10 I did math problems in it. It's, this is just a really good book about a girl named Minna who plays the cello and she meets a kid named Lucas, and they're both kind of different. They both notice things that people don't, and they kind of look at life a different way. She's just trying to find out, like, who she is, and she meets Lucas, and Lucas is a total hottie with awesome vibrato, and she wants awesome vibrato. Anyway, it's definitely a children's book, but it's a really, really cute story, and it's about just how she becomes, like, or, she starts like becoming like a woman and like figuring out those things about yourself that like last all lifetime. When people ask me what my all-time favorite book is, the first thing I think is Tarzan of the Apes by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Which is really funny because I had to read this for school. I read the first chapter and I hated it. I was like, this is so boring. How am I ever supposed to finish this like 300 page novel? Um, and then by the end of the book, I was just like crying. Like, it's not even a sad book, it's just, I just cry at things that are beautiful, and it's such a good book. And it's a series, um, it's got like nine books in the series or something, like it's crazy. Like, the Tartan story is a lot more than the Disney movie would have you think. It's a lot more in depth, and it's a lot better. Um, there's a lot more emotion. Tarzan and Jane are a lot more OTP than in the movie. I love Tarzan, and you should definitely read at least the first one, if not the whole series. Number four is Mandy by Julie Edwards, um, which is the same thing as Julie Andrews, which is why I got this book in the first place, because Julie freaking Andrews. It kind of makes me think of Secret Garden a little bit. Basically, it's about this little girl named Mandy. She's 10, and she is an orphan. She lives in an orphanage. And one day, she decides to climb over the orphanage wall, and she finds herself in, like, this little, like, garden area. Um, and there's an abandoned cottage, and she just kind of makes this cottage her own little place. And, um... And it's kind of just like her place to get away from the everyday life and times of the orphanage. And then some stuff happens, and because no one knows about the cottage, no one knows where to find her. It's like Julie Andrews is reading me a story, and how beautiful is that? Beautiful. Last but not least is Crisscross by Linry Perkins. It's written from a couple different perspectives, although it's not like there's not like a set structure in how it's written or anything. It's kind of just like however the crap Linry Perkins wanted to write it, which is cool. Um, and there's lots of like doodles that like people do throughout the novel. The way that is written is just super like stream of consciousness and very raw. It just feels like someone is talking to you and it's not like filtered and edited and it's just it feels just awesome. So if you want to share with me slash us some of your favorite books too, um, do that. Yeah. In a video or in comments, you don't have to be part of it syrup to participate. I will talk to you later, and readers, I'll see you tomorrow.